Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Today is a very interesting day. We got LaShawn Cobza coming by. He's gonna build a bike. We got Nick Castillo coming through from BSD. He's gonna come by and show us his van, do a little van check and show you how he's living. Well, he doesn't live out of it, but he has a badass van that I think a lot of you guys might appreciate if you guys are into that kind of stuff. But yeah, it should be a very interesting day and we're also gonna go up to LA to meet up with my homegirl, Jordan Knight. Uh, you guys will know a little bit more about her through on the video to see how the shoot goes and what it's all for. Shit, I've done this before. So it's good, Nate, you know what I mean? The GD fam is in the building today. About to build up a crispy 27.5 Subversa Griffin frame. Shout out to Subversa brand, Sparkies. Mark Burnett right here. Got all the Simone pieces to go with it. That 8.6. I, be, I think they're like 28 or something. I don't know how wide they are, but they clean. I ain't even, I ain't cutting them. I ain't even gonna cut them. I'm gonna rock it just like Simone. I run the 27.5 because I'm not that tall. I'm like five, you know, maybe five nine. So I don't need a 21, you know what I mean? I like the bike to be a little snappier for bunny hop threes and whatnot. So it's like, I don't need no long ass frame, especially for manuals too. But I mean, now that all the frames are, the back ends are getting so short, I guess I probably could ride a 21, but. I don't really need it. First this, sheesh. The sealed pedals, come on, man. Way. The sealed metals, let me, we got these. Nobody's got those. This, this one's going on the back burner for now. That's on the back burner. The Odin crank, the Mark Burnett cranks, 170s. Gonna try and do some, some more whips. Try and see what happens. 27 mil offset with a lifetime warranty. No, I don't do nose manuals or nothing like that really, so I just kinda run what I get, you know what I mean? The forks have never been a big deal to me. All the hub guards, plastic, metal, pick your poison. Important one right here, back wheel, the lefty, left hand drive. Out with the old and with the new. Same thing, just that one's a little more beat up. I've been rocking that one for like, almost two years now too, so that thing has been fucking holding it down. Yeah, that's, this is the dope stuff. The shadow symbol cassette right here, left hand drive, comes with the hub guard, plastic hub guard ready to go. This hub guard right here lasts forever. I had my last one for like two years. Look at these front ones. These still rocking too. They don't hit the spokes and nothing. Look at these things still going. Plastic, it's the only plastic I ride on my bike. Straight up. I just like my bike the way it is. I don't like to switch it up too much. I like it to stay pretty much the same. It's been the same for like almost 10 years now. Only thing that has changed is just colors, so. Big fan of that. Get some, dip. give, dap me up for that, man. Come on, man, look at that thing. Plated right here, man. These things are amazing, man. Old seat. Basically, they didn't have some stuff in stock, so I'm gonna my old seat that I've been rocking for like two years. My old signature Chula stem that they don't make no more. They got some other dope ones, but I really like this one. Yeah, I built my last bike with coconut oil. Really? <laughs> yeah. It worked, but it was what nasty. Nothing like that feeling, man. Everything feels crispy. Ultimate test right there. Solid. You saying, yeah, this is um, probably like a year now. So it stretched a little bit, but very little. Very little stretchiness to these Supreme chains. Most hyped on right now is the sprocket. I'm so stoked on how it came out. It looks so good with the chrome 28 tooth. Got the nine in the back right now, so it's gonna be running a little weird, but. Did you run a 10? Usually run a 10. 28, 10. Get some horsepower behind it. But yeah, man, that's the bike, dude. I'm stoked. Thank you for letting me build it at the shop. Hooking me up, dude. Oh, no, the new new addition too right here. 
Yeah. You know, look at that. Golden days. Lawrence. Real deal, holy field. Grip and grip. It's the ultimate test. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Nick Castillo. This is my van, the 1999 GMC Savannah. I've had it for about five or six years. It's taken me on a lot of good trips. I wanted a diesel is the main thing because it's something so big so I wanted to be able to have good gas mileage on it. I looked for a couple years till I found one for the right price because everything's pretty expensive now. I lifted it two inches, I got some mud trains for it and yeah, got the BSD logo on the side, got to represent the team and yeah, it's pretty basic. Is that a spray paint sticker? Oh, this is just a sticker. We had it made for a BSD trip, one of the, the guys came for a a trip to America one of the times so we had logos put on. They had rented a van that we made them for this and I just left them on since. Straight away, well, I drove it to, uh, straight to Utah one night. We just got up and went. We were supposed to fly there and we decided just to get in and take this because we had all our stuff in it so it was easier. And then after that, we ended up staying for probably like almost a month. We just kind of drove all around Utah and Colorado and all that and it was real good. It came, it was pretty beat. It was just, it wasn't lift or anything. It was, the inside was just gutted and the outside is pretty hammered. So we kind of just went through. My dad helped me do all this stuff, the carpet and all that. And he, he's a really good carpenter. So he did all this stuff himself and put a lot of trim. He used a lot of stuff like from West Marine because he built like the inside of boats before. So it's all waterproof and everything. He put the panels out these two lights and everything. You could turn them one on, one off or whatever. For me, well, I'm, I ride dirt bikes and my BMX bike a lot. So that's why I have the back opened up and I have a bar that I bolt in right here and I hang my dirt bike. So I don't have to have anything in the floor. So a lot of people will usually have like a bed in the back, but I wanted it open so I could just slide my dirt bike in and have everything inside. And actually this folds out into a bed. So it's kind of short, but this unlatches right here and then it slides down. And actually, if you look in here, I have all my sleeping stuff stored in there, all my sleeping bag, and then it just folds back down. And then it's my bed and I just put my sheet on or whatever and I have my whole whole little bed right here so then I could still have my dirt bike and be able to sleep in here. I planned it out how I wanted it because I definitely wanted it up here so I could still have my bike back there. And then my dad just kind of took over and put all his ideas into that since his ideas are much better than mine, so. <laughs> This right here is just my cooler, it's the Yeti. It's super insulated, so it keeps ice good for a long time. And then right here I have just my, it's my big water jug. I go through a lot of water. I grab my table and stuff back here. And then this is my, I have a stove and an oven and everything. So I could always cook here if I need to. Always got to have the BSD in there. And then you yeah, have like my off-road jack and stuff. If I ever get stuck, I've been in some pretty muddy situations and everything. And then just all my tools, toolbox. This right here is a rinse kit. I could just wash down wherever I want to go. And I have actually my shower and everything. My shower head's tucked back here so I could unwind it and I could take shower and everything. Uh, I used to, right now I'm actually living in the, I live in a little cabin in the mountains, so I haven't. But when I go on trips and everything, it's so easy. I don't have to worry about getting a hotel or anything. I just literally pull up anywhere. And I, I have a curtain right here. I pull it up, it just covers everything and I'm hidden. So just, I've always liked it. My dad's built, my dad built a really nice Mercedes one that kind of inspired me. He built it for one of our friend's grandpas. And then I've been looking for a long time and I just wanted to be able to, yeah, travel wherever I want. I love to travel and it's one of my favorite things to do. And I hate, I don't, I'm super simple. I like to be able to sleep outside. I like to be able to pull up in the next to the river or whatever, instead of having to get a hotel and all that. I'm not, I'm not too into that kind of stuff. So I always just like being outside no matter what, even though I live in the mountains, it's pretty, pretty off the grid so the perks of it is you actually own your home even if you buy a house nowadays you don't even really own it you're still paying for a mile no matter what so once you have it the perks that you own your home you could drive it anywhere it's it's convenient I said if you're a simple person it's it makes life easy it's if you're need a little all the bells and whistles that's kind of something I would stay away from if you're kind of a little more uh, what would you say like preppy or that kind of you got to be a little more rough to do this kind of thing if you're gonna do it as small as I did it. Like people will get the bigger, taller ones and everything, but so that's like the thing. This one's super tall, so that's everybody can't stand up in it. So that was one of the downfalls is mine's not super tall, but I'm not concerned about that. I just want to be able to have shelter and be able to drive places. Ever take the sprinter out in the future or are you sticking with the van? Yeah, I mean someday probably when I 
when I get a little older and softer and <laughs> need to get a little more room and everything. But for now, like this is all I need. I love this thing. And like you said, it's set up for me. That was the nice thing about building it for what I needed it for. I didn't buy it from someone else. I did it how I needed it. Like I have certain compartments for my tools or whatever. Like I do, I have like all my Jiu Jitsu gear in here and I can wash my stuff and it's set up specifically for me. So it would, I don't know, it just, it was, it's real personal for me. So that's a, it's a big thing for me. And then I just want to say uh, thank you to Grant from BSD and Arby from Albano Preto for taking care of me and being able to drive this van around. What's up? Hi. Hi. So we met up with Jordan. We're going to shoot some photos right now. Yeah. I'll explain exactly what we're shooting for and all that stuff in later on this video. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. We got a, this little white backdrop and we might go to jail today. I hope we don't. Okay. <laughs> we might have to go to jail. What do you shoot with? Um, my contacts T3, that is my baby, it's my film one. Okay. And then I normally shoot with my Canon 5D Mark III. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this place? Yeah. Death, death is right there. Yeah, we are. Right there. And then... if I fall, I die. We didn't oh. get arrested. Yeah. Well, not yet. We're walking <laughs> out, but the whole thing of this thing, of what we're taking photos for, is. We're doing a Golden Days magazine, and I'm not gonna give you too much more information about Jordan. Just I'll put her Instagram in the description and all that, so you guys could go check her out and yeah. what she's all about. But she's in the magazine for a reason, and uh, you guys will get to know her more when you guys buy the magazine. The magazine will be out in like I'm hoping in the next month and a half. But there's gonna be some fire ass interviews. We already got some 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 good interviews, um, and uh, Jordan's just one of them. One of uh, I think three or four interviews of the magazine. It's gonna be totally different so uh stay tuned for that <laughs> 